गुड मॉर्निंग स्टूडेंट्स माई सेल्फ विनोद भाटी टेकिंग योर सब्जेक्ट साइंस नाउ टूडे वी आर गोइंग टू स्टार्ट अवर चैप्टर चैप्टर नंबर टू न्यूट्रिशन इन एनिमल्स इन दिस चैप्टर वी विल स्टडी अबाउट द न्यूट्रिशन इन एनिमल्स दैट एज बी इन द चैप्टर फर्स्ट इन अवर प्रीवियस क्लासेज वी हैव स्टडीड अबाउट द टाइप ऑफ न्यूट्रिशन मीन्स हिट्रोट्रॉपिक मोड ऑफ न्यूट्रिशन एंड ऑटोट्रॉपिक मोड ऑफ न्यूट्रिशन इन एनिमल्स mostly there are heterotrophic mode of nutrition because animals does not make their own food whereas they depends on other for their foods so as they are taking or depend on the other for their food so they have a heterotrophic mode of nutrition in first of all in this chapter we will study about the nutrition in human being nutrition in human beings takes place in five steps first of all the food is being digested means the first step is ingestion then second step the digestion then the third step absorbs Five steps. These are the five steps. First one is ingestion, second digestion, third absorption, fourth assimilation, and the fifth one ejection. As the ejection, the first step, the process of intake of food. From the 
डाइजेस्टेड फूड इज नॉन एज अब्सॉर्ब सो द इंपॉर्टेंट न्यूट्रिय विच आर नेसेसरी आर बीन टेकन फ्रॉम द डाइजेस्टेड फूड बाय द प्रोसेस नॉन एज एब्सॉर्ब After that, the fourth step takes place. In that, whatever the important nutrients absorbed through the absorption process is being used to convert these nutrients or the food to get the energy. And by getting the energy, this energy is being consumed by our body so that we can perform our functions and for our growth and development. So, what is assimilation? The using of the digested food to get energy and utilize it for the proper functioning of the body
on a diagram of human digestive system in this system you can observe there are different parts of the body or organs present in our human digestive system the first of all human digestion takes place through our mouth in our mouth there are salivary glands present and after chewing the food this chewed food is being passed through a long narrow pipe known as a food pipe or esophagus then it passes through a c shaped structure known as stomach through the stomach here the food is digested and after the digestion the food is passed through into the small intestine then it passes through the large intestine and finally taken out through an opening called anus this is the opening through which uh, undigested food means the base is being taken out known as anus anus and here at the edge where the small intestine and large intestine meets there is a structure known as vermiform appendix no of use in our human body but in our ancestors means when our ancestor is in uh, monkey form then this vermiform appendix is of useful because the our ancestor used to eat the raw material or raw food and this raw food is being easily digested with the help of this vermiform appendix because the cellulose cannot be digested by our body but this appendix contains this enzymes which can digest even the cellulose so these are the parts here liver in the liver there is a sac like structure known as gallbladder and one more thing an important organ pancreas it is present just below the stomach and large intestine sorry am i wrong correct it once again which are present in our human digestive system the mouth salivary glands esophagus stomach pancreas liver gall bladder small intestine large intestine anus and vermiform appendix now as we intake the food by in the step first ingestion as we intake the food it is being taken through our mouth the food is being taken through our mouth and in our mouth there are two parts present first teeth are present in our mouth and second tongue teeth are the bony structures present in our mouth help in chewing the food or break down the food into smaller pieces known as teeth here again the teeth can be classified into four categories four types of teeth are present in human being 
first of all integer then can i then premolar and the last one molar so how many types of teeth are present in human beings in our previous classes we have also in our junior classes we have studied about the types of teeth incisor canine premolars and molar again i am explaining what are incisor incisor are flat front teeth which are used to cut or bite the food so the teeth which helps us to cut or bite the food are known as incisor they are flat and front teeth next after that this front flat teeth after that there are sharp pointed teeth known as canine teeth which helps to tear the food it is basically used to tear the food <coughs> actually they are helpful in cases of carnivores in animals like lion tiger the canine teeth are so much modified and so that they can e easily tear the flesh of other animals next after that premolars premolars are flat and broad teeth which helps to grind the food into fine particles and at the last there are big flat broad teeth known as molar teeth which helps to grind the food more fine known as a molar teeth so in our mouth there are four types of teeth are there what are the teeth teeth are the bony structures present in our mouth used to chew the food into fine pieces so there are four types of teeth incisor canine premolars and molar next after that the tongue is a muscular structure present in our mouth which used to mix the saliva in our mouth to the food and helps in chewing the food also the tongue contains the taste papillaries and through this tongues we can taste our food i can draw the diagram of the teeth that is our incisor it is our canine that is our molar teeth
the food is being chewed and it is grinded into a fine particles and then it is passes through a tube known as it is a long narrow tube which connects the buccal cavity the cavity why shaped the cavity present in our mouth is known as a buccal cavity or the oral cavity so through this oral cavity the food the sorry chewed food is goes down through a long narrow tube known as esophagus it is connected from the mouth to the stomach so it takes the chewed food from mouth to the stomach here while passing the food the esophagus constantly contracts and relaxes and so performs a movement known as peristaltic movement peristaltic movement that is the alternate contraction and relaxation of the walls of esophagus so that the food can easily passes from the mouth to the stomach so what is the movement the movement known as peristaltic movement what is the peristaltic movement the alternate contraction and relaxation of the regions of the esophagus so that it can pass down into the esophagus now the food when reaches in the stomach here in the stomach the stomach region the stomach contains an acid known as hydrochloric acid this hydrochloric acid used to emulsify the food what is the function of hydrochloric acid emulsify the food what is the function of the uh, hydrochloric acid emulsify the food after emulsifying the food the bacteria present in the food will die due to the hydrochloric acid and since it is so much acidic so to prevent our stomach in internal in inside the stomach there is a internal layer of the cells made up of mucus layer the mucus layer is present to protect our stomach from hydrochloric acid as in this hydrochloric acid at the below region of the stomach there is a there are digestive enzymes present which are being secreted or the digestive enzymes are present in the pancreatic juice secreted by a pancreas a pancreas is an organ which secretes the pancreatic juice which contains this digestive enzymes which helps to digest our food the liver secretes a bile juice which is responsible to reduce the acidity of the hydrochloric acid in the stomach as the bacteria or the digestive enzymes does not sorry as the digestive enzyme does not perform their functions in acidic medium so neutralize to neutralize this acidic medium this bile juice is helpful so what liver secretes liver secretes bile juice liver secretes bile juice what is the function of bile juice to neutralize the acidity of the 